What's been the hardest sermon you ever had to preach? Oh, wow. Uh, two, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. The first was the Sunday after Barack Obama uh, made his statement about same-sex marriage. And it was my first Sunday really addressing it. And I'll be honest, I made a mistake uh, because I did not give that Southern congregation rooted in those Southern ways of seeing sex. I did not give them time to, you know, really talk it through mm -hmm. and to express themselves. I just got up and preached it. Mm -hmm. And it was horrible. I offended a lot of people. And to this day, I am so sorry because I didn't handle it right. I did not handle it with sensitivity. I just got up there with the authority of the prophet, you know. Uh, and I remember my statement about, you know, he's not the pastor of the United States, he's the president, and the president is about liberty and justice for all. Uh, you got eight passages in scripture, maybe, that address same sex uh, or same gender loving, and those passages are, are, are real iffy because, you know, you have some, one or two at least that deal with, uh, uh, you know, messing with kids, and so, D don't do that. As a matter of fact, if Jesus didn't address it, why are you so obsessed with it? So that was my sermonic approach, mm -hmm. and it was horrible. Mm -hmm. it, 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 was, it was horrible, and I, again, I, I, to this day, every time I bring it up, I have to repent and ask God for, to forgive me and the people to forgive me, uh, but I could not let that moment go as a social justice prophet and not have a word from God. And so that was, that was, that was rough, man, that, 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 was, that was a tough time, but it was tough because it was self-inflicted.